Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Another wonderful day to be able to be with you today. Welcome to Said Talks. This is Pastor Said, and we are here again just talking, just having a good time talking. And you're doing some listening. I imagine you'll be doing that this morning. Planning to have it or plan to be had. What in the world does that mean? We'll talk about that this morning as we get moving. Well, good morning. Good to have you with us today. Bless you. It's always a pleasure to come here Monday through Friday. Yeah, most of you that uh, have seen me quite a bit, you've seen me uh, Monday through Friday. I'm here doing said talks. That's my little personal conversation that I have, a personal dialogue that I have with you here on uh, Facebook Live. Come on here once a, once a day, Monday through Friday, and we have what's called an impromptu talk. Sometimes it's a little preachy, sometimes it's just conversation or just a, a dialogue or asking questions or provoking thought. Uh, my aim is really is to provoke thought among you that are here with me so that you'll have an opportunity to live your life in a different kind of way. Our aim is to really uh, help you be in a position where you say, you know what, this is something for me. I'm going to get this. this is, I'm going to see this happen. I want to go for it. I want to see things go well in my life today. So we're looking forward to seeing that happen with you today. So looking forward to a time of uh, understanding what the Lord is up to, what he's doing, and how you can be affected by it as well. So you ready? Hopefully you are. I'm going to look at some of these buttons I've got down here. I've never looked at these darn things before. You can share this with a friend if you choose to as well. Okay, there's some tagging buttons. That's what that is. Also. Okay, that's what tagging is all about. Okay, then I can invite people to be able to join me here. How about that? I invite my wife. I invite my wife over here to join me this morning. I'll invite uh, my friends here. Invite my friends. Invite my friends. Come on over here and hang out with me this morning. Love to have you with us. P plan to have it or plan to be had. That is the deal. Uh, we won't keep that up too long. But guys, as we're talking about plan to have it or plan to have plan to be had, you know, some of us have heard the statement before but re regarding how somebody, they had us. They had us in the palm of their hand. They, they dealt with us like we were like... Uh, just like a cherry on a tree. They just picked us and picked us off and did what they wanted to do with us. Well, if there was no plan involved as an individual, we have no plan. And when we have no plan, uh, we are planning, we're setting ourselves up to be had by someone else. We're setting ourselves up to be uh, part of someone else's plan. Now, it's, it's okay to have a plan to be part of somebody else's plan, but when you don't have a plan and you end up part of somebody else's plan, don't complain. <laughs> Don't complain, because uh, often what will happen is that we will do uh, things in life and, and expect that they will work out just because. Just just like that, just because. And we we don't think much about the just because aspect, because we're sitting around wondering if or not we're going to be able to make it still, uh, just because. Well, just because is not a plan. Just because is not a reason to get out of somebody else's plan for uh, their plan for you, just because it's not that reason. But when we do sit down and contemplate, we sit down and pray, we sit down and uh, investigate, we look at all the different areas of how we can begin to plan thoroughly about what we want, what we desire to have. And if we plan to have it, we can make steps towards getting it. We plan to have what we want. We can make steps towards getting it. We plan to have uh, the desires of our heart. We have to make steps towards getting it. As I talked even yesterday, we're seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And we know that all things are added unto us. And I talked about also how we put those things under us that we don't, what are the things that we try to want in the world system? We say, well, I'm going to put that down below me and I'm going to allow myself to be in a position where I'm going to let God uh, be the one that directs my steps. So today, God is directing every one of our steps. Today, uh, his desire is to see that we would, again, prosper, being healthy, even as our soul prospers. His desire is that we would get up and do the thing that he would want us to do on this day, uh, to experience life in an absolute sense, in a, in a way that we'd never experienced it before. And so with God working in and through us like that, we have a chance to win. How many of you want to win this morning? How many of you really want to win? Good morning, George. How you doing, brother? I haven't seen in a while. I hope that new job's going well for you. Uh, plan to have it? Oh, yeah. If you plan to have that job, that's what you're doing. Or you plan to be had, one of the two. That's what I'm talking about this morning. Kind of a different kind of topic matter, but but in reality, I believe that uh, a lot of us that don't have plans in life end up uh, a part of somebody else's plan and uh, end up ha being had. Uh, have you ever been had before? Have you ever uh, been sold a bill of goods before? Uh, anybody ever been sold a bill of goods where they didn't know exactly what the outcome was going to be, but they bought it anyway? You know, you, a bill of goods is that, that deal where you, you get the, it looks like a nice nice situation, but then all of a sudden you end up in a bad situation. You're, you're being had at that moment. 
and uh, none of us likes to be had. None of us likes to be had. So, so what we do is we make plans. We make plans and arrangements. We make um, proposals. We make it, we do investigation. We we do everything we can to put ourselves in a position to be able to cross over to the other side. We put ourselves in a position to profit. We put ourselves in a position to succeed. We put, put ourselves in a position to make good and to do well and to see our children do well, to see our families do well, to see our spouses do well. We make plans for those kinds of things. Uh, uh, people that uh, re get ready to retire or plan for retirement, uh, they're making plans for the days ahead. And so that when they get to that time, they're not you know, surprised by, by anything weird, unusual, although different kinds of things happen. We understand that, but we still want to make plans. We want to make plans to make certain that things go well. And even no matter what age you are, if you're a younger, younger person or older person, uh, still it's time for planning. Because there's always that wonderful thing called grace. That wonderful thing called grace that God gives us to be able to experience Him in an entirely different kind of way. I, I think that God is really uh, very unique in, uh, in how He works with us. Because uh, in my wife and I, we, we make these plans, these wonderful, grandiose plans that we try to make ourselves. And we watch God in the midst of it all uh, come and make an adjustment or a change or surprise us with something even better that we can think of or imagine. But because we made the plan, uh, we we're already on the right path. Here we go. On the, make the plan, you're on the right path. And on the, on the right path means that you have possibilities of moving towards what God, ha, what God has for you. So let's talk about the pathway for a moment. Uh, we've made a plan, now we're on the path. The path begins to see, uh, we begin to walk this path for some time and begin to see ourselves uh, walking in a way that's going to be right in the sight of God. And so we're, as we're on the pathway of righteousness, okay, the pathway of righteousness, we see God moving in and through our lives. We see God doing things. And then as we're on the pathway, then there's the possibilities. We see possibilities of things that can happen for us and things that, that are, are designed to be a, a part of what we're uh, looking to accomplish in life. We're not planning to be had at that point, point because we see the possibilities. Possibilities become, become to be, begin to be something that, that we, the expectation begins to be something that, yes, I, I, can, I can see that on this pathway is a good pathway because on it I see possibilities. But before the pathway, before I even got on the pathway, before I even had the plan, there were no possibilities. I mean, I didn't think there was in, at least any way. But as soon as the plan came to fruition, as soon as the plan came to my thought process, as soon as the plan, the plan began to reveal the start of the pathway, I began to walk out, walk on the pathway. I began to take the plan, walk on the pathway, and see the possibilities. And so the possibilities that we're looking for are things that are going to be pleasurable in the sight of God, things that are going to be say, things that are going to be um, uh, ministered to our hearts, things that will say, yes, I am excited about seeing the po not only the possibilities come to pass, but I can see the pleasure, the pleasure of, of actually experiencing what God had, had intended for me. And so when we don't plan, what ends up happening, again, we're had by somebody else. So we have, we're involved in somebody else's plan. So the, the, the pathway is not straight, right? The, the possibilities don't seem to be that real. And the, pleasure, the pleasurable moments, they're all gone all too. And because that's a really tough place to be, we want to be in a pl have a plan that's going to be, give us everything that pertains to life and godliness. We want to give us, we want to take everything that pertains to life and godliness and say, God, thank you, and take us on this pathway. Take us down this road, Almighty God, that will help us and assist us to see that there are actually possibilities on this pathway. And because there are actual possibilities on this pathway, I know at the end there will be a pleasurable result. The pleasurable result, that which we're desiring to see at the very end, the thing that we're desiring to accomplish, the thing that we're desiring to see happen in our lives. We say, God, thank you for that. Have you ever been excited about the things that, that you knew you were going to receive because you knew the possibilities already? You knew what the possibilities were, and then you were blessed even more than that. That's how God operates. God operates in such a way that he sends us pleasures that are pleasures forevermore. He says, <laughs> in, his, in his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand are pleasures forevermore. <laughs> Did you hear that? So the pleasures that are forevermore are the kinds of things that God establishes with us when we plan to have it. We plan to have the pleasure. We plan to have the result. We plan to have God, God in the midst of it all. 
And not only are we, I'm, I'm repeating myself because I want you to get this, because we're not only planning for the result that we want down the road, we have to see it, first of all, on a pathway that we're walking. And so we walk the pathway and we're looking for the possibilities of what things are around us that might be part of the pleasure that we want to experience. So at the point we receive the pleasure, the point that we experience the pleasure, we know that it's because of the possibilities and the pathway that the, of the plan that we put together that causes us to walk in this newness of life. So walking in newness of life is a great thing to be able to be able to be able to do. And if if you've ever done it yourself, you know what I'm talking about. Because there's nothing like pleasure. People plan to have children. They plan to have children. They, and there's a pathway you've got to take to have children. Okay, so you know what the pathway is. We're adults here. We don't have to talk about that. But the pathway that we take, and then there's possibilities of something happening. You, the wife gets pregnant all of a sudden, and so now you've got a a, a plan with a the pathway that you've taken to get to the get to the uh, the end result having children, but there's a possibility that you may or may not have children by having taken the pathway. But when you look for possibilities, you look to see to see if the wife is actually pregnant or not. You go to the doctor. You have uh, symptoms and feelings about things that are going on. But then, as you get to the point where you see that child come to fruition, that child be born, there is the pleasure. You see what I'm saying? There, there's a pleasure. There's watching God, uh, God's plan come to fruition. There's God's plan coming to fulfillment. There's God's plan bringing the pleasure that we're looking for in our lives. So this morning, I wanted to just bring that simple word to you. Again, it's one of these uh, pre, uh, impromptu talks that we do. I did, didn't have any of this plan. I, I don't have, didn't have any of this plan myself, but the Lord does. You know, I, I think about it a little bit, and I, I meditate on a couple words, and, and sometimes the, some of the words just come right now. And, um, and these are the P's of this, this morning, I'm talking about P's. And I try to give you something that I, I identify with. Sometimes I identify them after the time that we speak here. And I'll go back and listen to me and I'll put up some notes ab about it. But I'll put these notes up here after we finish up here right now today. So again, if you want to have a plan, plan to have it or plan to be had. If you plan to have it, know what your goal in mind is, plan to have it, and then look for yourself understanding that there's a pathway. There's a pathway and then there are possibilities on the pathway. And then there's pleasure at the end because you've now reached your goal. You've now reached that place where you can receive what you desire to receive or your plan to have. Otherwise, you'll be planning to be had by somebody else. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. We want to be able to make ourselves, put ourselves in a position to win ourselves. Hey, Pat, good to see you, cousin. How are you? How are you? Is that, is that LaTorah? That, uh, no, no, Lodoris, I'm sorry, I thought that was Lodoris. Uh, but Lodoris, bless you, good to see you this morning. And we thank you for joining us today. This is Said Talks, and I'm here Monday through Friday, uh, having a great time with the folks that join me here. And those of you that join me live, of course, you have a chance to hear me right at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm here for about 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes 35 minutes. Like yesterday, it was a long one. You may want to pick that one up, by the way. It was a really, really good talk we had. Um, I believe in the title of it, I think it was about with, with purpose. Uh, we talked about uh, uh, showing up with purpose is what it was, yeah, showing up with purpose. That one I put on YouTube as well, so you can actually go to YouTube and see it. I'll be spreading it out to other folks in my audience that will have a chance to see it. Uh, but but for those of you that have been following us and you've been, been curious about this uh, Valentine's Sweetheart Soiree that we're having, uh, or, or Soiree, as my, my, my friend Mary Smith says, Soiree, okay, that's how you say it, I imagine. But we're going to be having that um, this coming Friday. This coming Friday, it's going to be, it's happening, and we got a few tickets left. I'm, I'm going to have to see if we stop talking about it because we just got a few tickets left, and we know that everybody doesn't show up all the time, but we've got a few tickets left, so if you want to go to uh, Soiree, and I'm, I'm not going to put it on, I'm not going to put it on the screen today. If you want to look for it, you have to search my page and find it, but uh, Soiree, S-O-I-R-E-E -E dot firestarterfridays.com. I'll say it again, Soiree, S-O-I-R-E-E -E dot firestarterfridays.com. Dot com and you'll be able to go there and they'll go to take you to e bright e event bright page and you'll get a ticket a tickets are free and don't, don't cost a penny for the tickets but we have people register for the tickets so that they can actually get in get a good seat because uh, seating is not uh, it'll be a, it'll be a capacity but we know that already it's starting to be a capacity because sizzle C is a funny funny man and he'll be uh, there with us that night my son of course will be doing some he'll be doing the music and we've got one of my other sons in the ministry which will be uh, Matthew he'll be doing the uh, MC for the evening and so it's gonna be a fun night a uh, young young and young a little bit middle-aged guys that are getting together and hanging out and doing some good stuff so it's gonna be a fun evening uh, looking forward to you being with us as well come by come by and shake my hand and give me a hug around the neck whatever and, and we'll let, love to see you guys on that night it'll be a fun fun time so if you haven't got your ticket go to soiree s-o-i-r-e-e -E, dot 
firestarterfridays.com. Again, we've got a few tickets left, so uh, when it when it's actually done, what will happen is that the it'll actually shut down. I mean, that the, uh, the Eventbrite will not be able to give you any more tickets because we limited the number of tickets that we're going to be able to give away. But you do need to register to get in, all right? So bless you guys. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you the next time right here on Said Talks. Have a great day. We'll see you. Bye-bye.